Assalamualaikum everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make this cute little teddy bear cake topper. You'll need rolling pins, some gum paste and modeling tools. The details are in the description box below. So I'll start by rolling the gum paste and kneading it so that it's soft and pliable. I'll divide it into three parts, one's for the head, one for the body and one for the arms and the legs. So starting with the head, roll it into a ball shape and then flatten it a bit so that it's still curved on the edges. Once you're happy with the shape of the head, um, take the skin tone gum paste and shape it into a muzzle just rolling it into a ball a little bit longer and making the muzzle with your hands and once you're happy with the placement of the muzzle on the face you can stick it with some water or edible glue So I'm using a ball tool here to make the holes for the eyes, um, but if you don't have any of these tools, you can definitely use the back of a paintbrush or um, some toothpick to make these features. Now taking the black gum paste, uh, rolling it into a small ball and then just pressing the sides to make it sort of like a triangular shape for the nose. And the two small balls for the eyes. And we'll stick everything together um, with some water. Now for the ears, roll a small ball and then make a cylinder shape, cut into half and with your fingers or like I'm using a ball tool here, just make those indentations for the ears and then stick them on the head. So as the gum paste is soft at this point, you can shape it and smooth it out as much as you like. So for the inside of the ears, I'm using the same skin tone uh, gum paste, just rolling them into the balls and then pressing them with my finger to make circles. And there's your head ready for the teddy bear. We will let it rest on a styrofoam. So we'll start working on the body now. So roll it into a ball first and then as you can see with my hands I'm shaping it into a cone shape. So it's wider at the base and narrow at the top. Just smooth out any lines or imprints on it. And once you're happy with the shape of the body, just take a toothpick, put some water on it and insert it in the middle, in the center of the body. So this is to give stability and um, strength to the body and it will help the body hold the weight of the head.
Now for the legs, roll the gum paste into a sausage shape, cut it into half and make one end small and the other end is wide, like a cone shape but more pointy. So the wider end is going to be the paws and make some indentations close to the paws to give them some shape. Cutting the edges so that they fit nicely on the side of the body. Now to give some details uh, on the paws, just roll out some skin, sh skin tone gum paste and um, just cut two circles and place them on the paws. And we'll need six tiny, tiny little balls and they will be used as toes. So three on each side. Moving on to make the arms and the claws. So same process, just a sausage shape cut into half. And again, the wider end is going to be the claws. So at this point, I'm going to flatten the wider end of the arm and I will shape them into claws. So just flatten them with your hands and make a small incision on the side to make it sort of like a, um, a mitten shape and that's your claw of the teddy bear. Just cutting on the edges again so that they fit nicely on the body and we'll stick them on the teddy bear before we put the head on. So just adding some water and place them on the teddy bear um, and at this point because it's soft you can place them the way you want to place them and that's how they will set. So we'll have to um, let this body rest along with the head um, for at least 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours, and it will harden and then it will be hard enough to place on the cake. Now I'll show you how to turn this basic cake topper into um, different cake toppers that you can use according to your needs. So I'm making a small, tiny little bow here for a cute little girl teddy bear. Just adding some details so that it looks like a little head bow. And there's your girl teddy bear. Now to make a bow tie, uh, slightly bigger in size this time using blue gum paste and 
the same process as to make a bowl. And there's your boy teddy bear. Now for a baby shower cake topper or first birthday or welcome baby. Um, this is going to be a dummy or a pacifier or a soother, whatever you want to call it. So just by making two circles and a small string uh, joined and put into the top to make a handle. So this is going to be a dummy. By mixing a little bit of white to the purple gum paste, um, I have this light purple color here and I'm going to make a blanket now. So just a rough rectangular shape. And I'm using this wheel tool here. Um, it has stitching and quilting attachments on each side and it's easy to make stitching or quilting patterns with this. If you don't have it, you can always use your own design. You can make some small flowers or uh, some dots to give some character to the blanket. So. There's your baby shower teddy bear. Now for a gentleman's hat. This cake topper can be for your dad, for your husband. Um, it can be used for... Um, it can also turn into a graduation hat. Just add a, a, a tassel on the top as well. Um, an all black. So just make a circle and um, flatten it out and give it some shape, um, some ruffles to make it more lifelike and adding a black string to give some more detail to it and there's your hat. I'm so sorry about the focus here. Um, it's really bad, but what I'm trying to do here is just ruffling on the sides so that it's you, you, you feel like there's a flow on the hat and there's your gentleman teddy bear. Now for the last one, this is a heart and just I made a cone and then flattened it and make an incision in the center and just shaping it into a heart shape with my hands. This is like a 3D heart. And there's your teddy bear with all the different versions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, thanks for watching.